What is up everyone? Welcome back to Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. We're here in Twin Moon Temple. I did not mean to do that. Let's go back here. Uh, we got, I think, the Beast Bangle in the last episode. So we need to go back down here. And we continue on through this place. Avoid the enemies. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay. Phew. Alright, let's go to the next floor here. Now, the beast, the whole beast set in this area is missable. If you don't get it, if you don't get the full set coming through here the first time, you will not be able to come back here later, so. Now you want to make sure to get the whole beast set on your first time through here. Well, obviously, you got New Game Plus, so you can just get it on your next playthrough if you miss any of the pieces, so it's not that big of a deal. But I'm going to go out of my way to get all the pieces. Alright, let's continue. B2. There's only the beast... Make sure to get the beast bangle before going to B2. You can go back though, I think. But... Yeah, um... Oh yeah, by the way, don't leave this place once you're in here. I don't know if that'll... I don't even know if you can leave this place, but don't leave it. Anyway, on B2, we want to find insects. Yep, right here. The best thieves stay out of trouble. Yep, we got to fight some man slicers. At least these things aren't as bad as the elementals. I'd rather fight these any day of the week than the elementals. Oh wait, you don't have to have Gelahad just use his fist. You can have him equip a two-handed axe and use that. Two-handed axes are really good. They got a really good ability later. Like I said in the last episode, you can fight every battle in, in this place in the PS2 version. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You'll be able to... Even if you fight every battle, you'll still probably won't get to... Rank 4... Battle... You probably won't get to ER 14. You should be alright. Because I'm pretty sure when I did this on PS2, I... Fought every battle in this area. And I was still able to complete the quest. But, yeah, if you, um, get to ER-14, you automatically fail, you automatically fail Elling Emperor. So, keep that in mind. Doing that cutting lunge spam. Strength and dexterity tortoise shell, nice. Those are pretty good. Oh crap, watch out. I can't stress enough how much I love the smoke bombs. Praise smoke bombs. Where were smoke bombs at in the PS2 version? Would have saved me a lot of stress. Okay, that leads back that way. We want to go the other way. Uh, 
and then we'll... Yep, here's where we want to be. Show your strength and receive this gift from us. Test your might. Actually, let's do rolling slash with Sif here. What the? Let me use knee split with her or with him. I didn't mean to say her. That was a mistake, but whatever. I love rolling slash, by the way. It's a very good ability. It does the power of other skills, but it hits everybody. Like it's not like it's a weak attack. It's not like it's a weak attack. It does a good amount of damage, and has the benefit of hit all the enemies. Okay, we got some annoying enemies here. They have, like, yeah, see, they have resistances to, we need to combo them. Yep, there we go. So this will do a good amount of damage because it's combo, well, no, not really. They have that, which knock you unconscious. Hmm, how do I deal with these things? I could do Sunray. They don't like magic too much. Combo attacks work well too. It is good to have a balance between physical and off physical and magical users. But Heads up, everyone. Oh, this is definitely gonna kill him here. Sunray. Yep. Sunray getting in the combo there. Great. And we get a free ring of protection, which I already have five of them on my characters right now, so I bought those early because they were really good. I know how good they are, that's why I bought them. I've got to give my all, no matter the opponent. I've got to give my all, no matter the opponent. Lizard, mind your business. Ah. I'm just going to go ahead and flee. And only one life point to retreat instead of five. What were they thinking making it five in the PS2 version? It made the PS2 version way too difficult. To, way too difficult to keep your event rank up. Or, to keep your event rank low, I mean. But if you fall, do not hold it against me. <laughs> We're not gonna fall. But if you fall, do not hold it against me. If I fall, I'm gonna be mad because then I'll have to go back to this area again. So if I fall, I'll curse you out, lady. Yeah, I hate these things. They're so annoying. When you don't have a caster on your t party, it's... 
kind of aids to take these things out. I usually have at least one mage in my party too, but... We just don't in this... Did you just die already? It's starting to annoy me. Oh, that's going to do a lot. We got it though. Love the music here too. It's a nice Does theme. Ow. Why oh, got hit so hard? Oh no, not blood curdle. This is gonna do ridiculous damage. Yep, goodbye. I hate when they use that blood curdle attack. They don't usually use it too much. But it's pretty deadly. Melee into another battle. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard though. Ooh, nice. Got a cross cutting lunge there. By the way, the reason combos actually do damage is because it ignores defense and all that. Stamina drink. Temporary increases vitality, one use only. Yep. So you don't have to get that if you don't want to. If you want to avoid that room there, you can. Retreat. I'm going to go over this one. There we go. Next floor. All right. Yeah, I think so. Let me double check. Yeah. So the next one, we'll be able to get a couple things. We can get... What's the next type of enemy? Lizard. Uh, the lizard's the type of enemy you want to fight here. crap nope it's like we're at the chain here probably start using Life points from the other characters is what I was going to say. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, great. These things, oof. These things are pretty rough. They do a ton of damage. Pretty sure they're pretty slow, though. Oh, maybe not. I, know, I do know they do a ton of damage. They have a lot of hit points, too. Yep, they got that attack. Die already, jeez. I knew you could do it. Nice. What a stats up for Sif there. Nice, Monica got strength and HP. Oh, that's the next floor. Not yet. There's a one. There's a really good uh, ring we can get. There's two. Uh, two enemies too. Oh, we need to fight another lizard as well. Use Sunray against this enemy. Holy crap. This thing's dead. All together now. Trophy. Doing a five hit combo. All by four. There's some BP there for Monica. Monica's actually a pretty good character. She's brand new too. Was not in the original game. You could, well, she was in the original game, but you couldn't recruit her. Or, I don't know. Nah, I don't think I, I don't think I had her in the party. I was second guessing myself, like, was she in the game? But no, I don't think he could recruit her. Ah. Uh, I had to do that attack for. Zip MVP. That rolling slash. I still want to try out, um, on my next playthrough, I'm going to try out a party of thugs. And see if you get, like, insane amount of money. Because I wonder if they stack. Like, do you get increased money for each thug? For I'm gonna try it. Just for fun.
This party is good at com comboing, I noticed. Great. We get Guardian's Ring, which is pretty good. Yep. Very nice ring there. We'll give it to Monica. Uh, what it does is... Strong gets status ailments, but it also boosts physical and magical defense. By five more than the ring of protection. One, two, three, four, five. We're event ranked 10, by the way. We do have to be a little bit careful. Dang it. Or my strength. Annoying thing. Look, the fiends fight as one. Get some good stats up here. The enemy is strong, perhaps too strong for you. Yeah, no, definitely not. Well, maybe the Aqua Drakes a little bit. <laughs> Aqua Drakes maybe are a little bit too strong. No, I don't hit Gilha. I already got weakened down by the Drake. Oh, Gilha's dead. Fantastic. I'm going to use healing water. Heads up, everyone. Dang it, why do that attack? Come on now. That attack is so annoying. It does so much damage. Yep, she's dead. Not permanently, at least, but... I'm getting a lot of stats. Three, six... Still ten. This should be the perfect warm up.
speed it up here. Fighting the same enemies repeatedly. Then we get the Beast Greaves. So I'll probably also give to Gelaha. We get Gelaha now. 30 vitality because he gets plus 4. Yeah, they all boost vitality. Alright, now that we got the Guardian Ring and the Beast thing, we can go to the next floor. Not mean to waste that. out of here hmm not sure what enemy we have to fight here probably undead yep undead does this thing bleed gotta fight undead Wow. Goodbye, buddy. How many enemies can survive five hit combos? Even bosses will have trouble. They'll take a ridiculous amount of damage against five hit combos. Our retreat in here, Galaha. I'm going to do damage to him now. There's two items we can get on this particular floor. Uh, we gotta find another undead here. There we go. Goodbye. It's kind of pointless for those to have withering. They already don't take a lot of damage anyway. Dexterity, intellect, charisma. Go up this one over here first, I guess. I don't really know which one to go up, so. Nope, that's the way we gotta go. Let's go the other one first. Other ones first. Ugh. Stupid, annoying things. Slow it down. Jeez. Didn't mean to have it sped up.
One must overcome their difficulty. Make the agility HP and more HP for Monica. Nope, not rolling slash. Cut Timba. Ooh, nice. Got a surge in a reverse there. Wow, stat gain's insane. Oh, we just got a ding there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're event rank eleven now. So we still can gain two more without failing. Fine, I'll just stay still and let it attack me. I Whatever. The enemy, no matter how mighty. Is that all you got? Great. There we get an alacrity pill. I think that boosts agility. Yep. And then there's... We can get one more. We already fought the three undead, so we just have to go to the next one. This must be this one right here. Nope. Ah. This should be the perfect warm up. Heck out of here, you stupid thing. I don't really care though. We got plenty of uh life points left. Nope, I didn't mean to take this one. <sighs> it's kind of annoying. Where is where are we supposed to go? I don't know which one we're supposed to take here. It's not this one, because... I keep taking that one by mistake. Alright, so it's not... Those two... Oh, there's another undead here. The rolling slash again. Wasted it because I didn't need to use it. Oh well. Usually the ones that are um that take no damage, they're probably in another like mode that's good against our mode. So trick mode I think is <sighs> lovely. Gaining, uh, gaining BP. Heads up, everyone! Ah, got too close. Try not to gain too much here, and I end up gaining anyway. 
this the one we're supposed to go up? Yep. Okay. Alright. So let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. We're still good. We just gotta be a little bit careful. Keep going. Spinners aren't very threatening. I was going to do rolling slash, but it's not worth it. Yeah, they can lower agility with that web attack, but I'm not worried about it. I think I don't know why it's so loud. Sorry, that was my alarm to get up. I don't know why that was so loud. Holy crap. I do like set, turn my alarm volume down. There. That was like ridiculously loud. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Gecklings love insects. Yeah, you'll notice that the battles that you fight here are set encounters against the same, pretty much the same enemies. <laughs> Not too shabby. So, this area is a bit boring, honestly. It's pretty, it's got good music, but... Yeah, a bit stale. Because you have to fight the same enemies over and over again. Which is different from the usual because usually in this game you fight every enemy is different, you know. Ooh, we got a treasure map. Uh, treasure cave map. All right. Great. Beast helm. All right. But I probably won't be equipping that one because it's um uh not as good as the fashionable helm. All right, now we can go to the next floor. All right, so I was going to complete this area in this episode, but I think I'll save it for the next episode. I need to get up anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll finish the Twin Moon Temple. Later.